Ni Hao, who remains in Xi, Alex Christian Katolito from H428. And welcome to my video. As you can notice, I greet you all in a simplified Chinese greetings because we will cooking three Chinese cuisines for today. China is located in East Asia and Chinese cuisine has an important part of important role when it comes to Chinese culture and because of their diaspora and historical power, hmm, marami na influence yung Chinese cuisine na mga bansa sa Asia. And isa na lang nga dito yung Turkey or Turkish cuisine na siyang nasabi ko nung prelim video. So now, let's cook our first dish for today, which is the lo bakgo or turnip cake. Lo bakgo or Chinese turnip cake is a savory Cantonese dessert and not sweet. So, this dessert is a usually or typically served in Yung Cha restaurant and it is a typical dessert for Chinese Lunar New Year. The bakgo or Chinese turnip cake cooking method used sauteing, pan frying, steaming, and boiling. Ingredients 454 grams of Chinese turnip, daikon also works. 14 grams of dried shrimp, 1 piece Chinese sausage, cook and mince, 1 piece of green onion, mince, 4 grams of salt, and 1 clove garlic, 3 ml of sesame oil, 8 ml of vegetable oil or corn oil will do, 5 grams of chicken bouillon, 1 grams of white pepper. And don't forget the 113 grams of regular rice flour and 177 ml of water. Now, let's mix first our regular rice flour and water. You can use whisk or a rubber spatula when mixing the ingredients. Cooking ingredients. Set the stove to high heat and heat the pan for a few minutes with some oil about 1 tablespoon. So I do that to the pan so that it can heat easily. If you have wok at home, it is better than a regular pan. You should let your pan and oil heat up sufficiently until it starts shimmering or forming tea ripples across the surface due to the heat but not so hot that it starts smoking. Once it's hot, cook or saute the garlic and dried shrimp for about 30 seconds. After 30 seconds, cook the lap chong, save some for garnish and cook again for about 30 seconds. After 30 seconds, add the turnip, stir the wok or the pan, cover, and cook it again for 6 to 7 minutes. After 7 minutes or once the water of the turnip starts boiling, add now the salt, chicken bouillon, white pepper, and sesame oil. Mix the flavors around the pan so that the turnip absorbs all the ingredients you put.
cover again and cook for another 3 to 5 minutes. While we are waiting for our turnip to cook, we'll prepare our cake pan or yung paglalagyan natin ng turnip cake. But first, cut out a circle of parchment paper to line the bottom with. Then, spread oil around the inner rim of the cake pan or kung saan mo ilalagay yung turnip cake mo by using fingers or brush. But remember, if you are using fingers, put gloves. Now, let's check our turnip cake. Let's put now the rice flour diluted in water. But remember, we will slowly add the rice flour mixture. Make you do not pour it all in at once and that you continuously stir the mixture to ensure you don't produce lumps. After putting all the mixture, stir and cook the mixture for about 2 minutes or until it has thickened. Once the turnip mix is done cooking in the pan, we'll prepare for steaming. Once the mixture is done, transfer our mix to the cake pan or saan mo paglalagyan yung mixture mo. Flatten out the surface and spread oil around the surface with the spoon or use finger but remember to use gloves when you are using your fingers. This is mostly so the cake comes out more looking shiny and appetizing. At last, I garnish some green on minced green onions before putting the mixture of turnip cake into a streamer. Once it's done, set aside and prepare for steaming the turnip cake. For steaming process, Fill streamer to the water limit or half and bring it to a boil on high heat. When putting the mixture in a streamer, remember it's hot so be careful. For the cooking time can vary by 5 to 10 minutes or depending on the stove container, and the amount of ingredients you are using. So, after 10 minutes, to tell if the cake is done, you can stick a toothpick into the pan. It's done if you pull the stick out, then the cake isn't stuck. Turn off the heat once it's done. Then put your cake in a tray or anything you like as long as it can rest and rest it in a refrigerator for 3 to 7 hours or you can serve it at steam like this one. You can pan frying it. It is optional but highly recommended. It takes a little longer but it brings out a nice crispy and crunchy contrast. We'll heat up the pan with oil on high heat for a few minutes then pan fry both sides the turnip cake. 
After that, you can serve it hot and crispy and fried turnip cake. Now, serve it with the dipping sauce of your choice, like soy sauce and oyster sauce. So now, let's cook our second dish for today, which is the Shanghai Shukai Fan or Shanghai Vegetable Rice. Shanghai Shukai Fan derives from the word Shukai means vegetable and rice which means a fan. That's why Shanghai Shukai Fan. And it is famous rice dish in Shanghai, China. Shanghai Shukai Fan. Cooking method used. Sauteing, stir frying, boiling and simmering. Ingredients 375 grams of jasmine rice rings, 15 ml of soy sauce, and mix a drop of green food coloring, optional, 60 ml of sesame oil, 28 ml of canola oil or vegetable oil, 2 to 3 large Chinese dried black mushrooms, softened, remove the stem, and cut into 4 hour slices, 3 slices of ginger peeled, 5 grams of teaspoon sugar, 3 grams of teaspoon salt, 600 ml water, 2 to 3 heads of Boy, baby bok choy, cut and separate the leaf and stalks, and a drop of green food coloring, optional. I just want to put food coloring so that the plate and the rice not complement to each other. But you can or have an option to not use it. First, heat the wok or pan and add 2 to 3 tablespoons as needed. When the oil is ready, add the ginger and stir fry briefly, about 30 seconds, until aromatic. Then add the sliced mushroom and stir fry for about 2 minutes. After 2 minutes, add the bok choy, adding the stock first and then the leaves. Then stir in soy sauce, sugar and salt and stir fry on high heat for 1 minute. Last, stir in the sesame oil. Cover and set aside. In a heavy bottom pan, put the rice and the water and bring to a boil, cover at a medium heat. When the rice come to a boil, let it simmer by turning the heat down to medium low. Once you see a whole or craters of the rice, add the vegetables on top and stir. Then turn the heat to low and simmer for another 15 minutes. Stir the vegetable and rice again and fluff it up. Taste and if you think na kulang yung lasa, add salt. Then if you think naman na perfect, serve and enjoy the Shanghai Shukai Fan. For our last dish, which is the protein, we will cooking Chinese simmered chicken. For our protein, I choose this dish because our dessert is a savory dessert and it's very salty for our starch, which is the Shanghai Shukai Fan. So this Chinese style simmered chicken is a or has a sweet style and it balances the taste of savory of our dessert and the saltiness of the starch. Cooking method used, toasting, searing, blanching, simmering, and sauteing. Ingredients, 2 to 3 chicken breasts or any parts that you like, 55 ml of soy sauce, 45 ml of apple juice or dry sherry, 88 ml of water, 11 ml of oil, 55 grams of brown sugar, 3 grams of red pepper flakes. 1 green onion means 8 grams toasted sesame seeds optional, 
1 garlic clove, minced or pressed, 11 grams of cornstarch diluted in 11 ml of water, 11 ml of ketchup, and mixed carrots and potatoes. Any cuts will do, but for this one, I use rondel cuts. Let's mix first our ingredients. So, in a bowl, mix soy sauce, brown sugar, water, ketchup, sherry or apple juice, pepper flakes, garlic, and onion together. You can use rubber spatula or whisk when mixing all the ingredients for the flavor of the chicken. In a pan, under low heat, toast your sesame seed for at least a minute. Continue to stir to avoid burn. Turn off heat if the raw sesame seed becomes browner until the sesame seed starts to pop out. In a boiling or steaming water, blanch your mixed carrots and potatoes for 5 to 8 minutes or until the vegetable is al dente but not too soft. Then remove the water and put in a cold bath. In a skillet or a pan, heat oil. Then if you don't have thermometer to know the temperature of the oil, sprinkle some water to know if oil is hot but not hot as smoky. And brown the chicken both sides. So I sprinkle some salt but not too many because kailangan natin ma-achieve yung sweetness na lasa ng simmer chicken. After searing and browning the chicken, add the mixture to the chicken and simmer for 35 to 45 minutes. Then cover. May technique so that the chicken absorb or the flavor. After 10 minutes, binaligtad ko yung chicken para yung kabilang side naman yung magkaroon ng flavor. And I do it again for another 10 minutes para yung another side naman yung magkaroon ng Labor. After 35 minutes or almost the sauce has reduced, so ilagay na yung cornstarch. And ginawa ko dito is nagsalo ako ng sauce, then nilagay ko sa cornstarch, tsaka ko hinalo, pabalik dun sa sauce. So that para mag yung sauce and ma-avoid yung lumps. Now, after that, simmer for almost 1 minute, then it's ready to serve. After maalis yung chicken, don't clean it, but put some butter or oil in a hot pan, then yung blinanch mo na mixed vegetables is isote mo doon. Then put a little bit of salt kung gusto mong medyo maalat and stir for 3 to 5 minutes. Then garnish and it's now ready to serve with simmered chicken. You can garnish it with parsley or your toasted sesame seed. Now serve and enjoy with your family and friends. So this is my starch and protein. If halin tulad ko tong Chinese stud simmered chicken para siyang adobo sa Philippines. And this rice is very good or good for vegetarian people or customer. For this dessert, which is the lobaco or Chinese turnip cake, you can serve it by frying it or you can serve it by steaming it. Taste and enjoy my Chinese cuisine. Bye and thank you for watching my video.